What did your school waste money on that everyone hated? Football stadium. And then everybody had to hear for like five years afterwards about how broke the school was and that's why students had to share equipment. That same year our rival school bought laptops that the seniors could use while at school, but had to turn them in at the end of the day. Those little plastic sacks of milk instead of cartons. We had to have someone come into every class and teach us how to insert the straw without getting milk everywhere. People seemed very intrigued. Someone posted a photo, and yes this is what they looked like. They built a million dollar astroturf field one year, then removed it, and put a building there one year later. i7 workstation laptops with Quadro GPUs, easily $2500 plus each for an elementary, K6, school. Those machines were designed for CAD work and media production, but were instead solely used for web browsing and Microsoft Word. I don't have any idea why they bought them. iPads for the kindergarten. They were intended to have educational apps on them that kids could play on at indoor recess. Believe it or not, most kindergartners would rather play on the swings or play with dolls than learn to write their name on an app. No one used them, no one liked them, and they all broke within two months. I'll do one better. Our junior school years ago had given the prep classes, year before grade 1, about 4 iPod touches, 4th gen, for the whole class to use. Such a waste and I can only imagine the speed at which a little child can inflict damage to the device. Name tags, shortly after Columbine and all those other shootings peaked in frequency. It was supposed to keep outsiders from getting in the school unnoticed and shooting everyone, but at the time people doing the shootings were always students. So we joked they were bulletproof. A school near me, biggish but not an urban school by any means, required students in the late 90s to wear IDs at all times. There was a big kerfuffle one year where the homecoming king was not allowed to attend the homecoming dance because he hadn't brought his school ID. We had chairs that you could sit on while you were waiting outside the classroom for class to start. People fucked around with them a lot, and they were trashed so our awesome janitor volunteered to make new ones by himself to reduce costs, so the school funded the material cost. They were really nice but they got fucked immediately so the school ended up having to buy new ones anyway. We didn't deserve it. TVs. Like just random TVs in the hallway that showed slideshows and shit. Tens of thousands of dollars when we could have just put up bulletin boards. My school did that too, except in addition to the random hallway TVs they put up 12 flat-screen TVs in the cafeteria which formed two giant flat-screen TVs. Back when I was in high school, the district spent $5 million building a new high school to house 1,500 students. Our entire district didn't even have 1,500 students if you counted every student in the county from pre-K through 12th grade. So this school sat there with a bunch of fully functional, stocked classrooms that still aren't being used 16 years later. Yeah my school was built in 1998 and in 2000 that had already expanded by adding a full auditorium and additional classrooms. I came from a school that had a freshman class off over 900, it was like rush hour traffic in between classes. They probably had growth and enrollment estimates for your town that were supposed to expand in the last two decades that didn't pan out. Could be recession-related. Back in the 80s, the superintendent of our district bought a huge smiley face and had it hung on one of the buildings. It was hated by everyone and the surrounding schools mocked us. It had tons of mud thrown on it, someone shot several arrows into it. It lasted about 10 days before it was removed. Superintendent blasted everyone for ruining happiness. $170,000 to paint our main road yellow. It faded after like a year. When they first built the high school slash middle school in my town, there was a big push to build a pool and have a swim team. Competitive swimming with slash is pretty popular in the area and like four teams were sharing one pool three towns away. Instead they built a clock tower. 
iPads for one of the government classes. The problem was, they didn't get any apps like Word or even Pages, only weird and glitchy educational apps, with which we were all forced to take our notes. After we'd take notes, the documents we made were incompatible with anything on our computers, so we couldn't read slash study slash work on them out of class. We weren't even allowed to take screenshots because they didn't want students saving any photos in fear of us doing something inappropriate, I guess. That creepy caretaker who kept teaching kids how to make Molotovs. None of US asked how to make Molotovs. He'd just corner you and start to explain. Smart board circa 2010. Not nearly enough functionality to justify the cost. I think it just depends on the subject. Mandating them is stupid. My high school physics teacher in like 2006-07 made great use of them. My history teacher probably wouldn't have. Landscaping at my college to a large extent. Complaints were loud enough until the school came out and said the entire budget was from an endowment specifically for landscaping, and that is all they could spend it on. For some reason my high school decided that spending $1.2 million on a football arena was a good idea. First of all, our football team sucks, like they're really bad. But the administration was obsessed with incentivizing better players to somehow emerge. It didn't help when we found out the lead contractor the head principal's cousin. <laughs>